Hey y'all, Jamie Dean here. You know, my mom's been doing a lot of cooking videos. I've been cooking at the house more than I probably ever have in my 50 years. I'm happy to be back in front of a camera. I need to go to work. I cannot wait for our restaurant to get back open. I'm gaining weight, I'm feeding all the neighbors, and I'm happy to share this recipe with y'all today. You know me, you know I love my wife, Brooke, and you know I love my wife, Brooke's meatloaf. So we're doing Brooke's meatloaf today. This is from my recipe, Good Food, that I put out with Jack several years ago. This is a delicious recipe that everybody loves, and I'm gonna show you how simple this is. So we're gonna start with a couple of pounds of ground beef. This is the first decision you have to make. Do you wanna go lean, or do you wanna go 80-20? If I'm doing hamburgers, I like to go 80-20 because fat equals flavor. For this recipe, because I'm cooking it in a meatloaf pan, I'm gonna go more lean because I don't want it to be too greasy. So I've got two pounds to start with. The first thing you wanna do always, no matter what you're doing, you've got to season with salt and pepper your ground beef. Your beef doesn't come with any kind of good seasoning on it, so give a couple of good pinches of both salt and pepper, and look how easy this is. I gotta say thank you to Teresa, who's a part of our team, who's been helping mom out, has got all this stuff laid out for me, and it looks a lot easier when somebody does that for you. We've got our onions here. I'm gonna tell you, the, I'll tell you the ingredient amounts as I go, how about that? So that's a medium onion, I've got two cloves of garlic. I've got one and a half cups of sun-dried tomatoes. We've got a cup of fresh breadcrumbs. I've got one kind of clump of fresh basil. The basil and the mozzarella going in here really gives this meatloaf an Italian flavor that can't be beat. So I've got our feta in here. I've got a couple of eggs. That's gonna help hold this together. Jamie, mozzarella. Oh, the mozzarella, I'm sorry. Thank you, Teresa. And I have one and a quarter cups of basic tomato sauce. Don't dump this whole thing in there, y'all. We're gonna take little pieces of this. Let me reach in this drawer. I know where my spoons are. So I'm gonna go with a quarter a cup just to start, and then I'm gonna hold this remaining part. We're gonna to top the meatloaf with some of this, and then in the last five minutes, we're gonna finish with it as well. Now, you know if my mama was here, she would stick her hands in here and do it with her hands, but I'm giving her the day off today, so I'm gonna use a tool. And to be honest with you, I grab in there with my hands a good bit too. I've already taken my ring off, you know what? In honor of mom, I'm going in. So you wanna make sure and work all this really well. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can do meatloaf. This is more of Italian with the mozzarella and the tomato sauce and the basil. Sometimes if Brooke doesn't feel like doing all this, she just makes a simple meatloaf, which I love, which is she adds a, the breadcrumbs, she puts an egg in there, of course we salt and pepper it, but she changes the top. So if you want a more of an American meatloaf, just go with your ground beef, salt, pepper, breadcrumbs, get you an egg in there, season it up however you'd like, bake it off, and this is where the secret is. The finishing sauce for her, ketchup, yellow mustard, and brown sugar. And if you've been following me on my Instagram, I'm J21M18. You have seen in the last couple of weeks that I've made stone ground grits that I love. I make them super creamy and I like fork grits. I don't like spoon grits. And I put big hunks of Brooks meatloaf inside of those grits. Great day in the morning. Speaking of great day in the morning, I got Davis here. We came to visit for Matthew's birthday. Matthew turned nine this week. So my mama and my daddy and my brother, everybody finally got to see Davis Dean, my third son. I guess I don't make anything but boys. He was born on, how awesome is this, 410, which is the reverse of 10-4, but it's easy for me to remember. He was born on April the 10th, 2020. He's a Corona baby and has been such a blessing for our family and is so healthy. And the hospital was really kind of quiet. Tracy, can you give me a hand? I'm sorry. Sure. Would you come spray this pan for me? Certainly. Because I'm using lean ground beef here, I'm gonna put a little bit of spray in here because I don't want it to stick on the bottom. 
So Matthew was born on April the 10th. So it was Matt Davis was born on April the 10th. Matthew's birthday is May the 18th. I'm next in June, Brooks in July, and Jack is in August. All five of us, our birthdays are all lined up per month. So I've got all this stuff really ground well together. This is gonna be delicious. If you don't have a meatloaf pan, you can plop this in the center of a cooking sheet and that'll be fine. Sometimes I've seen people, if you're using a, like a 80-20 meatloaf and you're on a sheet pan, you might wanna put it on a couple of pieces of white bread and that'll help soak up some of that flavor that runs out of there. This is a perfect fit for our pan. And look how beautiful that is with the mozzarella and you can see the real pieces of the tomato from the sauce. We've got our basil, salt, pepper, eggs, onions, garlic. We are good to go. I'm gonna pop this into the, uh, oh, 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 I almost forgot. I had to save the rest of this, remember? So I'm gonna put another quarter cup. Dogs are excited. I'm gonna put another quarter cup of this tomato sauce on top of here. And this is gonna kind of dry out a little bit and it's gonna cook in. So I'm gonna save this last little bit I've got here. The last five minutes of my cooking, I'm gonna to top it. This is gonna go into the oven and it won't take y'all no time and we'll be right back. But in 55 minutes, we'll see y'all here, all right? All right, y'all, this is it. Now I had a little bit of that tomato sauce left over, so we finished it with five minutes. And then I put it back in there and you can serve this with cream potatoes, with rice, this can make, you can make it the finest meal in the whole world. But if you come into my house, this is how I'm gonna eat it. That's my favorite way right there. Little bit of bread, little bit of mayonnaise. Can I have a bite? Meatloaf sandwich. Oh. Thanks y'all. We'll see y'all around the kitchen. I got to go. Hey, Jamie, you get back. I just want, all I want is one bite.